Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna do a kind of like shop my stash video. So if you've never seen those videos before, we're going to be shopping my stash. So basically it's like taking out your own products from your collection and getting more use out of what you already own. So if you guys don't know, I have a seasonal makeup basket. I I mention it in like almost every video so you probably already know about this but I think it's time to declutter a few things maybe yeah I'm just kind of sick of what's in this box and I've used a lot of it like over and over again and I'm feeling like you know it's the new year it's time for a fresh start so let's just go through this quickly and then I will actually like do the shopping my stash part where I pick out products from my collection first thing I just keep my simple uh, compostable cleansing wipes in here these are really good this is the first time I tried them I really like them I don't actually compost so I mean these are still going in the garbage <laughs> I'm sorry if you're super environmentally conscious but yeah if you do compost you can pick these up and instead of throwing them out actually compost them and they actually do remove makeup in case you're wondering but anyway, that's not really part of this. So let's just go through this quickly. I've mentioned a lot of these products already in my videos. So the first one, this product was in my 2019 favorites. It's the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms palette. It looks like this. So um, yeah, I won't say much more about it because I just mentioned it in my last video, which I can uh, link up in the corner somewhere so this um this can go back in my collection i've used it many times and i've brought it traveling with me so i'll put that back um then we have another Too Faced palette this is the razzle dazzle berry eyeshadow palette it looks like this i did use this once and I didn't use an eye primer and I found like the shadows disappeared off my lid by the end of the night so I would like to try this again with a primer to see if it works out because otherwise I don't really know if this is worth it because yeah it's kind of pricey for something that's not gonna stay on your lids so but I'll give that another shot because it's like super cute and it smells like berries <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this in here actually this is a MAC pro longwear paint pot in the shade Indian wood I did not use this since my last seasonal makeup basket and I'm gonna put it back cuz I don't know I don't see myself using this anytime soon although I do really like the shade of it it's just like not inspiring me right now so that's gonna go back back to the palettes so we have the Anastasia Jackie Ina palette another palette that was in my 2019 favorites I think I'm gonna keep this in here because I only used it once but I just I loved it so much so I want to see what other looks I can do with that. Then we have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Looks like this. Um, I don't know if I love this. I know this shade here is very difficult to work with, Hell Ride, but I would like to get some more use out of this side of the palette, so I think I'm going to keep this one in too. And this is a good like year-round color story. It's not very like fall specific or summer specific. You know, it's well-rounded. So I'm gonna keep that in. Another Too Faced palette, the uh, Just Peachy Mattes palette. It looks like this. I did use this once. I I liked it. I think this can go back. 
yeah this will go back in my collection this is definitely gonna go back it's been in my basket for two rounds now this is the cover effects uh perfector face palette i have the wrong shade for me but i use these as blushes um and i really like the shades for that purpose the only one that i can use as a highlighter is this shade here um but yeah i use this a lot and i think i'm ready to put it back this is a clara cosmetics palette it's an australian brand i don't know if they still exist because i got this at winners so Usually when a brand is at winners, it's not really a good sign. But this is the uh, number one pro palette. And the color story is beautiful. It's very fall, like October for me. So I'm going to put this back. Then we have the Naked Cosmetics Trio that I got in a boxy charm. I used this in a video. I used all three shades on my lid and i really liked how it turned out but again this is more like a fall palette to me and it's been in this basket i think for two rounds now so it's time to put it away another 2019 favorite my natasha denona sunrise palette it looks like this um this one i used twice now i loved both looks that i got oh there i am hello <laughs> what do I want to do with this thing? I'm going to put it back. Because the two looks that I did, I used, they were like two very different looks. Like one look was all like the yellows and orange. And the other look was like the cranberry reddish shade. So I think I can put this back. If I miss it too much, I'll bring it back in. But yeah. This is the pure festival palette i used this once um i don't know if i'll ever use these two glitters again because i used them in the look that i did and they would not come off my eyes <laughs> and they felt like they were in my eyes and i got kind of scared that they were gonna like scratch my eyeballs so yeah I don't know about these, but I did really like the mattes in this palette. Should I put this back? I think I can put this back. Yeah. This is in the way, so I'll talk about it now. The Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. I bought this because I planned on doing a Physician's Formula video, like a full face of just Physician's Formula, but I don't know what's going on with that brand because well, at least where I am, they're like getting rid of all the stock and it's like they don't even have a spot in the store anymore. So I'm very confused. Are they like discontinuing a bunch of things and rebranding? I have no idea. But I haven't even used this yet. So I do want to keep it in this box. Um... So I'll just put it here for now and we'll organize it later. Um, this is my TARDIS Pro Glow face palette. It looks like this. So it has um, a cream contour, a regular contour, and highlighters. I really like this palette. And I do want to get more use out of the cream contour because I don't want it to like go bad before I have a chance to really get into it. So I think I'm going to keep this in. Even though I did use the highlighters a lot, I would like to get more use out of the contour shades. So that's going to stay. This big thing, again, was for the Physician's Formula video, but it's basically irrelevant now. I think there's been like two more collabs with influencers since this one this is the butter collection and casey holmes collab so it's like a bunch of uh different products the eyeshadows um the butter bronzer in the shade deep this copper cabana blush which is really nice this um highlighter in just beachy this was made specifically for this box so you can't get that 
specific shade on its own. Um, a lip product, which I really like. And this, like, uh, Eau de Toilette, which it's a little too coconutty for me. So, yeah. And it's not very, it's not something I would wear this time of year. So, yeah, because I don't think I'm going to do that video. I think I'm going to put this back in my collection. Then we have this big thing, the ABH Norvina Collection Volume 1. Yeah, it looks like this. I only used this once. I used it on Halloween. <laughs> and I it wasn't like a good um, impression because I was going as like a dead skeleton lady. I don't, I don't know. So I used only the black and the red shade and I just like mix them all together to make my eyes look dead you know so <laughs> it's not I'm not gonna like be able to review this palette based on that look and I just like used a big fluffy brush and messed it all up so I mean the shades were pigmented but yeah I need to like do some actual looks with this so I'm gonna keep it in because this is not like a specifically fall or winter palette so I think it still can stay. This is gonna go back my Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer. I've been using this as my bronzer for like the last six months <laughs> even though it barely looks used. Yeah so I, kn I know that I like this and it's time to bring in another bronzer so that'll be put away this sugar pill fun size mini color palette I have not used yet I actually just took this out of the box today because it was bugging me that it was still in the box um, it looks like this <laughs> this is gonna be really nice for spring so I'm wondering if I want to keep it in here, even though it's only January and it's going to be winter till April here, so. <laughs> but it's kind of like making me inspired. I think I do. Yeah, I'm going to keep it in here. I haven't used it yet, so. Um, this is the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. It looks like this, a really nice cool tone palette. I did use this on New Year's Eve with um, another thing that is not in here, but um, I only used it for like my transition shades, so I don't have a good idea, like a good, uh, I don't know if I like this is what I'm trying to say because I didn't use it enough, so do I want to keep this in? Yes, I will keep this. And when I say like I'm keeping it or not, I don't mean like I'm going to declutter it. I mean either staying in here or I'm just going to put it back in my collection. If I'm actually going to declutter something, I'll say so. So I guess we'll move on to the lip products and the blush and stuff like that. So this, I don't think I ever showed this on my channel, but this is one of my like prized makeup possessions. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. Um, JK Rowling lipstick. It's called JK Magic, but it's named after JK Rowling. Look at this packaging. It's so pretty. And the lipstick looks like this. Has little lips on it. Um, I really like this, obviously. I keep it in the box because it's just so luxurious and pretty and I don't want to ruin it so <laughs> I'm gonna put it back in the box I think this can go this can go back with my other lipsticks though because I already know that I like it this is my Mac soft no not soft and gentle my Mac warm soul mineralize blush I love this it's kind of like a bronzy blush. It looks like this. Um, it can go back because I've used it plenty of times. This is my Becca Vanilla Quartz Mini Highlighter. Which looks like this. It always looks like white on camera. But it has 
like a touch of yellow gold shift in it. I don't think I, yeah, I'm not gonna keep this in. I've already used it and I have other highlighters that I need to get more use out of. This is my Tarte blush in the shade Party. This is a mini size. I love this shade for just like an everyday look. It goes with pretty much any eyeshadow look. I'm gonna put this back though. I've used it enough. This is definitely going back. I keep talking about it in all my videos. <laughs> um, it's the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Warm Nude. This was in my 2019 favorites. Yeah, so I'm not gonna say much more about it, but I'm gonna put it back in my collection. And my Bright's Bees blush, also in my 2019 favorites. I love this. This is the shade Toasted Cinnamon. Another like peachy bronzy blush. So that can go back in my collection. And then this is actually a lip product. This is the Urban Decay Lo-Fi in the shade Echo. It looks like this. Um, this is a lip product. You can put it on with your finger or with the applicator that comes in the cap here. I do know that I like this shade and this formula. It's very like, it's for like a quick makeup look, I would say. I didn't use it enough though, I don't think. So I'm gonna keep it in here. And the rest is all lip, pro well, no, that's not true. These are eye products. This I'm seriously thinking about decluttering. It's the Cover FX Glitter Drops. I've never used this and I got it in a boxy charm. I just, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what to do with this really. Cause I'm not gonna use it as a highlighter. It's way too dark for my skin tone. So I was thinking I could use it as an eyeshadow. Like I just, if I put some on my finger and like tap it on, but I never reach for it. So this is on the chopping block because I do want to try it. And if it's like really nice, like if the effect is really nice and unique, then I do want to keep it. So ugh, yeah, this is staying in here again, even though I think I said this last time. <laughs> But for real, I need to test it out and see if I like it. This I haven't used. It's the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. So one side is like a metallic shadow and the other side is glitter. Um, I do want to try this and I'm scared it's drying out. It's just this shade is not like speaking to me and I have four other shades of this so i think i could put this one back and try a different shade um yeah that's what i'll do this is the laura mercier amethyst caviar stick it's a stick eyeshadow i haven't used this i think this was a 100 point perk or like some kind of freebie i kind of want to try it though yeah i'm gonna keep this in I'm gonna keep this Starlux Pro Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pen because I think it's almost dried out and I just kinda wanna get some use out of it. So that's staying. These two can go back, these eyeliners. This one is the Marc Jacobs, um, what are these called? High Liner Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Rococo. It's like a bronzy shade. I already know that I like it, so there's that. Can you even see what I'm doing? Um, yeah, I went to Sephora today and I swatched the new Fenty eyeliners and I've washed my hands like 17 times since then <laughs> and they won't come off. So in case you were wondering about the wear time on those, it's pretty good. And I did actually buy this one. The um, like cobalt blue. Why am I not in focus? Anyway, I was gonna swatch this. That's what it looks like. Um, I really like this. It's really nice on green eyes, but I don't need to keep it in any longer. And same with this one, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Torch. I love this. It's like a burnt orange. 
um, this is more like a fall product, I feel. So that can go back. And then my Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon. Basically, they're like eyeshadow sticks. This is really pretty for an inner corner highlight. If you can see it there. Um, this can go back. I've used it a few times. Okay, so just to go over the lip products quickly, I love this. This was in my 2019 favorites. It's the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Tea. It's beautiful. It can go back. This was a new product I tried. I love the shade of this. It's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade... Uh... Praline de Paris. It's beautiful. It's very unique, this shade. It's like a rosy pink, but it has like a brightness to it. I really like this. But this can... Actually, no. I, I do want to keep this in because this is like a good color for this time of year. So that's going to stay. This is also going to stay because I have not used it yet. It's from a BoxyCharm. It's an indie brand. I think it's called the Beauty Crop. The product is called Girl Power Liquid Lipstick. It's a darker shade, I believe. Yeah. This, like, kind of rosewood shade. I do want to try that. So that's staying. This is... I should have mentioned this in my 2019 favorites also, but I forgot. It's the Lancome L'Absolu Lacar in the shade 202. Oh, I think it's called Nuit et Jour, if I remember it correctly. I love this. This formula is amazing. I'm running out of room already. It's kind of like a stain, but also gloss. I don't even know how to describe it. So it, when you first put it on, it's like a gloss, but because it's also a stain, it wears off really nicely and it doesn't look all weird. So I'm going to put this back, um, but I love it. I'm going to put this back as well, my Kaja lip gloss stick. The Heart Melter, it's called, if you can see that. I've gotten a lot of use out of this. This was in my 2019 favorites also. This Bite Lip Pencil is going to go back. I really like this shade, though. This was the shade Leche. This was beautiful, and I really like this formula. But I think these have been reformulated. They are now called the Power Matte lip pencils or something so I don't I haven't tried those yet but I did really like this this is a Too Faced melted matte liquefied lipstick in the shade pumpkin spice yeah I guess pumpkin spice season is over even though I love pumpkin everything all year I think this can go back <laughs> Um, this can go back too. I love this. This is the Smashbox, what are these? Liquid Metal in the shade Petal Metal. I love this as a, like, lip gloss topper. So, I mean, like, I put this over a lipstick and it makes it super shiny and glossy. But even though it's a metallic, it's not like one of those weird metallics that makes your lips look all crinkly like it's very smoothing i want to say um but this can go back i have a whole set of these and i'd like to try a different shade of that um this i'm considering decluttering it's the ColourPop ultra satin lip in the shade lock diary it's from the hello kitty collection if you can see there's like hello kitty bows on the cap I thought I was going to love this, but it's not like the shade I thought it was. If you can see that, like in the tube, it looks like it's going to be like more of a fuchsia, like a bright shade, which I really like. But it's kind of like purpley, and I don't really know if it's flattering on me. 
Um, the time I did try it though, it didn't really go with my eyeshadow, so I'm not sure if it was just that that was throwing me off. So this is another product on the chopping block. <laughs> so it's gonna stay in for a bit longer, but if I don't like it the next time I try it, it's gonna be passed on to someone else. Same with this, which I'm surprised about. It's the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss in the shade Flat White. These have been discontinued anyway. I thought I was gonna love this. Like every time I swatch it and I smell it, I'm like, oh, I love it. But this shade on me is kind of not nice at all. It's like, it's really like a true beige. And for whatever reason, I thought that was going to be nice. Probably because like every YouTuber I watch, this is like their favorite lip gloss ever. Like Samantha Ravindahl and Rob Beauty Christie and Jamie Page and all those people. They love this, but it's just does not look good on me. I don't know. This is getting one more chance, and then it's being passed on if I don't like it. This is my Becca Love, what are these called? Something, yeah, Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Sugar. This one, it's almost the same thing as the Bite. Again, it's another shade like all the influencers rave about, but I'm not sure if it's nice on me. But I do want to try it with like a darker lip liner and see if that makes it look better. So that'll stay also kind of on the chopping block even though I really like the formula of that. This Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Venus. This is a really nice lip topper. I just don't think I need to keep it in here can't really see that can you um i did use it and i liked it so that can go back oh i really like this too this the is the sephora gel gloss ultra shine sorry that was the french version the ultra shine lip gel in the shade number one perfect nude i really like the formula of this it's not like sticky or thick or weird and the shade is really nice if you can see um i'm gonna put that back though because i already know that i like it and by the way like the whole point of this makeup basket is to try products from my collection that i'm not using enough and that i don't have like a good enough idea about that i can talk about on my channel so i try to like use products that um, I'd like to give reviews on or honestly just for my own sanity I cannot stand the thought of all these things that I've bought just sitting there and not being used <laughs> so yeah anyway side side note um, this was a sample of um, an eyeshadow primer that came with the pure festival palette so it's the pure get a grip Endurance eyeshadow primer. I did use it with the palette um, And yeah, the eyeshadows stay on really well. I'll keep it, but I don't need to keep it in this basket So I'll just put that with my other eyeshadow primer. So really quickly Kat Von D Nasferatu liquid lipstick. I didn't get any use out of this and I'm gonna put it back in my collection because this is like a very vampy fall shade. The MAC lipstick in the shade matte lipstick in the shade Diva. Again, another vampy shade. I'm gonna put this back. This Marc Jacobs liquid lip crayon in the shade Night Mauves. I wore this on my birthday. It goes really well with like a orangey yellow eyeshadow because it's like a purple tone. Well, it's a mauve. That's why it's called Night Mauves. Um, this is really nice, actually. And the formula is really nice, too. But I can put this back since I've used it a few times. And this Bite Beauty um, Liquefied Lip in the shade Braised. Again, another Bite Beauty product that's been discontinued. Um, this can go back also. That's the shade here. 
I did like it when I used it, but I don't need to keep it in here again. And then lastly, Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. I really like this shade. Um, but it can go back. So that's it. Um, the next part of this video will be like me putting the new stuff in. So yeah, let's just get into that. Okay, so this is my makeup. It looks kind of crazy from this angle. And by the way, I hate how this looks. I'm looking for something that I can store everything in. Like, I like these acrylic things, but I don't like how it's all open and it just looks like a big mess. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, so what I normally do when I shop my stash is I make sure that I pick like one item from well at least one item from each section um, because it used to be pretty organized like I had a drawer of like lip gloss, a drawer of liquid lipstick, drawer of blush but now things are kind of everywhere so we'll see how this goes but anyway let me just start from here I guess. I know the first thing I want to pull is this here because I have never used it. It's the Urban Decay and Kristen Lian collab. So it looks like this. Um, yeah, I've never used this and I got it a long time ago. <laughs> I got it when it went on sale, so I didn't buy it like when it was first out, but it's still pretty old and I would like to get some use out of it. Plus these colors look pretty cool. And that like circle here, this like half, half and half shade is like a really cool duochrome like topper. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited about this because I forgot about it, to be honest. So that's going to be one of the palettes. I already put back some of the stuff, so I don't want to so, like some of the stuff that was in my last box. So I don't want to take the same things. Um, I do want to take this. Um, these are my single pan eyeshadows. Two of them are from Makeup Geek and two are from Tarte. And I've never used them, so I'm gonna pull this. This is a little Z palette from BoxyCharm. Do I wanna pull any of my Fenty gloss bombs? Yeah, I think I should. Which one have I used the least? Probably this one. This is Fussy, pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I already have my setting spray, so I don't need any of those. I have my brow stuff. Okay, I guess that's good for this section. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Um, then I have this little um, lipstick holder thing. Wow, um, this is harder than I thought. Because I also don't want to pull too much. I should pull one of these. These are the Anastasia Matte Lipsticks. Um, it was like a little mini set, but I don't remember what the colors look like. Okay, there's this one. Dead Roses. Can you hear my cat? I think he's trying to come in. One second. Yeah, there he is. Um, so back to this <laughs> lipstick. This one, oh, that's like a bright pink. This is soft pink. Then there's this one. This is, why am I putting it in the camera? I can't see. This is the shade Kiss. It's like a nude. And the last one is this shade here. This is Spice. I'm gonna take the nude shade, which was Kiss. And I have another lipstick holder here, which is mostly minis. Um, yeah, and these, look how dusty this is. This is how often I use my makeup. 
this is why I'm doing this video. So, whoa, I almost fell. Okay. Uh, okay, so I have a nude and a gloss, plus the other things that I kept. Um, I should use these Bite Beauty products because since they're more like natural origin, they don't last as long. These are like the multi-sticks or whatever that you, you're supposed to use like on your face or eyes or lips. Um, this is the shade Pink Pearl. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, and then in this section here... Um, there is something I want to try in here. If I pull this out... It's this here. Um, I got this in like one of my very first boxy charms. I don't even know if it's still good. It's a concealer palette. So it looks like this. Yeah, I don't know how good this is gonna be. But if it's uh, like dried out or something, I'll just like declutter it. But I do want to try it just to see what it's like. Um, yeah, and obviously, like, I'm not a makeup artist, so this is, like, these darker shades are not going to get used because I'm only one skin tone. But, um, yeah, maybe I can use them for, like, contour or something. I don't know. I just want to see what this is about. This drawer is a bunch of random stuff. Oh, I do need a bronzer. I'm gonna pull, well, I already have my Fenty, sh my Fenty Shady Biz bronzer, but I'm gonna pull this one because it's more like a shimmery bronzer. It's the Pure Mineral Grow, Mineral Glow, wow, that was hard to say, bronzing powder. So that looks like a fun shade. Okay, what's in here? This is one of my favorite products ever. <laughs> it's from the MAC Nutcracker Sweet Collection, which is like three years ago now. If I can open this. So it looks like this. It's a highlighter and a blush. I think I do want to pull this in. Yeah, I love this. Then we have another lip drawer. I think it's easier if I just take these over here. This is my cat, by the way. His name is Moontron, in case you didn't know. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on camera. So, these are random lip products. kind of want to try this. This is the Too Faced um, High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss in the shade Raisin the Roof. So it's kind of like a mauve sparkly gloss. More lip products here. What's this? MAC. Oh yeah, that's my Proud to be Canadian lipstick. It's a, like a bright, well it's not a bright red, it's like a true red there. Um, I guess I'll pull this for my red. I always have a red, um, at least one red lipstick in my seasonal makeup basket. This is a Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cinnamon Bear. It smells like cinnamon. This drawer is primers and some other random stuff. Translucent um, loose setting powder. I don't need that right now. Um, maybe I want to pull this cream highlighter. This here. Um, this is a nude sticks nudies all over face color in the shade Illuminati. Yeah, that could be fun. I do want to pull one of my Kaja um, blushes. I'm going to take this one 
because I just used this one in a recent video. Um, this is the shade Koi. That'd be fun, like, for Valentine's Day, right? I don't know if I already did that last year, but whatever. I want to pull this again. I have more products up here. <laughs> I always pull something from my Smashbox. Um, this here. This is, um, well, I'll show you. It's this here. So I just mentioned this um, metallic gloss thing. Yeah, let's pull this one. So these three are um, just regular. And the rest are metallic. But let me pull this first one. This is the shade Bad B. Like this. These are the legend B legendary liquid pigments. I really like these. No one talks about them anymore. I don't I think they're still available. But they're they're kind of like the Bite Beauty liquefied lips in that they're like liquid lipsticks that don't dry down. So I really like these. And they're not sticky. That's why they're good. So yeah, I will pull this one. Oh, and I have a palette here that I've been meaning to try. This one here. It's the Crown Pro Glam Metals palette. I got it in a boxy charm, and it looks like this. It's like a grungy metallic palette. So now let's go to this section here. These are blushes, which I do need to pull a few. So I already have the one MAC blush, which let me just pull it out for reference. This here. So it's like a mauve pink blush. So what's thing? You know what? I want to pull this one out. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. That looks like it would be nice. Yeah, I need more than two blushes, so what else? Is this one too similar to those other ones? Because, you know, I want some variety too. Mm, no, this could be quite different. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in the shade Tropic Hues. Yes, that looks nice. I might pull some like face palette or something that has more blush in it. Um, this is, yeah, more blush and bronzer. I just put back the Marc Jacobs, so I'm not going to pull that one again. Oh yes, I want to get some use out of this. This is the Narcissist uh, Wanted One Cheek Palette. I think there's highlighters and blush in here. Yeah, I think that's a highlighter for my skin tone. This looks really pretty. I don't know why I never use it. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely enough blush then since I'm going to pull that as well. Do I need more than two bronzers? I don't think so. This is highlight. I definitely want to pull this Anastasia Amrezy highlighter because I bought the Amrezy palette and I just want to use them together. I don't know why. It's not like they're meant to be used together, but look how I have not used this. <laughs> I actually don't love this highlighter from what I remember. Everyone was like raving about it. It looks really pretty, but I don't know. It's like maybe I don't have a good brush for this kind of formula. It's very like hard pressed in the pan and I find like 
when I use it, I just pick up like the powder part of it and not like the smooth part. I don't know if that makes sense, but I do want to try this again to see if I can make it work. So now I have one, two, three highlighters. Oh, I do have a highlighter palette that I want to pull, so I'm going to put this back. So more lips. These are, looks like mostly gloss. So what haven't, okay, I've never used this before, but I think they're discontinued. Um, it's the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. I want to try that, you know, I don't think you can even get it anymore. Here we have more lip products. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I have to think about what I already have. So I have lip gloss. I have a sparkly lip gloss. I don't have a regular lip gloss. What's this? Tardis lip paint? No, that's a liquid lipstick. Oh, let me pull this. This is a MAC um, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Burnt Spice. I haven't used this since forever, so. I'm gonna pull this one. Oh yeah, these are more like random colors. So, what's this? Grande Lips Smoked Sherry. This is a liquid lipstick. That's the shade. I still have swatches from before. Don't mind that. Um, I don't really feel like pulling this color. What's this? Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in the shade 105. It's like a cool tone. I kind of want, yeah, let me pull this one. And here we have the last section. So I usually take something from up here. These are like my lip, oh, sorry. These are my lip pencils. What's this? Let me pull this NARS Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. It's like a darker red. Yeah, this, um, the top swatch is the Bite, another Bite Lip Pencil in the shade Cognac. It's like a, mm, a warm brown, brownish red. I don't think I've ever used it, so yeah, I will pull that one. I think I should pull this. This NYX Lid Lingerie palette. Um, yeah. I haven't got much use out of this and I barely have any drugstore products in my basket so far so I will pull this one. And I think I should try out these because I bought these like a long time ago. They were a holiday collection from Smashbox. Um, it's like a face palette, an eyeshadow palette, and a lip palette. And I think I've used them like one time. So I need to pull all of these because they're getting old. And this drawer is mini eyeshadow palettes and single shadows. And I think I definitely want to pull both of these because I have never used them before. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone eyeshadow palette. I know when I first started watching YouTube, everyone was like raving about this and how if you're going to get like one drugstore palette, it had to be this one. And then they uh, reformulated it. <laughs> so. This is the new one, obviously. The old one was like a big square, but yeah. No one really talks about this anymore, but it looks like a nice color story. It's like, yeah, warm browns, pops of green. Yeah, so that's good. And this one is the Viseart Petite Pro. I think it's number one. So it looks like this. I still have the plastic on it. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely need to get some use out of this. Here I have like cream eyeshadows. 
which I should definitely be using because they don't last as long as powder. Um, this one I recently used, so I won't pull that. I think I should pull this chrome paint, the Tarte chrome paint in the shade uh, Steal the Show. So it's like a, a gunmetal metallic shade. This drawer is just like kabuki brushes and backups, eye primer and setting spray so I don't need anything out of there. Um, then I have more liquid shadows. So these are the, um, what are these called again? The Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadows. I just mentioned one of these. Um, I put it back already, but I do want a different shade. I actually think I'm going to pull two of these because they really need to be used. They're getting dry. So I have like a purpley one and like a champagne. The purple one is Irene and the champagne one is called Talia. So both of those. Then we have another like miscellaneous drawer okay including things i just put back so ignore that <gasps> actually the only thing that's appropriate i think for this time of year to pull would be this it's the vdl creamy stick jelly it's a cream blush so it's like a pink shade which it's not something I already have in my basket. Everything else here is very like spring, summer, so we'll leave that alone. And then here's my last acrylic drawer. This is um, more lip products. <laughs> I should pull some more Bite Beauty. This is, mm, no, that's a summer shade, definitely. Actually, I've never tried this before. The Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Melted Nude. I should pull some more, like, bullet lipsticks, though. What's this? This is a Bite Multi Stick in the shade Biscotti. Let me swatch it. Yeah, that could be nice, actually. It's the top shade. I'll use it as a lipstick. I don't know if I would use any of these for blush. They're, they're like, the formula is too thick, I feel. Oh, I think that's good because I forgot that I have all the products that were in my DIY makeup advent calendar. If you saw that video, I just did an intro and I never like updated you guys. So I actually have all of that stuff too. <sighs> okay, so all we have left is eyeshadow palettes and lip liners and something from my new section. I also have this little thing that I usually take something from. This is like backup lip balms. I don't need any of those right now. Actually, I wanna try this. Everyone talks about these. Um, it's just a mini size, but it's a Dior Lip Maximizer, yeah. I want to try this. Here is eyeshadow palettes and I keep all my lip liners in this thing. For lip liners, usually I just take whatever color like I'm using, but I'd like to have some like basic ones because that way I'll reach for them if they're right next to me. So I need a red. I'm going to pull this Aveda Hawthorne Berry lip liner. It's, if you can see, there's a swatch there. It looks like it would go well with some of those shades I just pulled. And for a red, I don't want a bright red. I don't think I have like a, not a bright red. <laughs> Actually, this Bobbi Brown red lip liner, it's like a true red. Mm. Yeah, I can pull that one. Sometimes I use this as lipstick, like I put it all over my lips, so I'll take these two. And then what else do I want from here? I actually should use this again, this big giant palette. 
this e.l.f. palette because I only used it that one time in my drugstore video that I did like last year. Not like this last year that just happened, the one before. So yeah, I want to try some of the dark shades and the colors and see how they work. This palette comes back out every holiday season, so even if you can't get it now, like you could get it at some point. And I remember it actually being pretty good, so let me try this again. I still have, oh, this one. The Master Palette by Mario, if you remember this. You can't get this anymore, but... I really want to use it. And I want to do like a throwback Thursday video with this. Because I know a lot of people did buy it when it was released. And then back here is all my other palettes. And it's kind of a mess. So I actually think I'll have to pull some things and then show you. Because I don't want anything to break. Okay, I think this is gonna be good so um, I have the Huda Beauty new nude palette I have a video where I use this palette which I can link somewhere so this really pretty palette this is like very Valentine's Day to me I think did I use this for a Valentine's look I think I did um, so I won't do that video again but I will want to use this like whenever so yeah that's another palette um this is the highlighter palette i was mentioning it's the nicole guerrero glow kit if you remember this another blast from the past um i don't know if i've ever used this i think i've just swatched it um it was a gift from my cousin and when she gave it to me it was like right when I started watching and like getting into YouTube so I didn't even know who Nicole Guerrero was and then <laughs> I started watching her videos and I really liked her so then I was excited that I had this but I kind of just had it stored away so I definitely want to get some use out of that I know you can't get it anymore but I mean these aren't like anything super unique another eyeshadow palette that I want to try again is Dominique Latte palette. She actually just came out with the like sequel to this, the Latte 2. Uh, but I remember really liking this, but I only used it that one time in a video, which I can also link somewhere. So yeah, definitely want to get back into this. And then this one is more like for me, because um, I know no one's probably going to care about this anymore. It's from the Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018 Holiday Collection. It looks like this and it has a highlighter, blush, and bronzer. I don't know, I just felt like I needed to pull this out even though it's like quite Christmassy. I don't know, I just want to try it because it's wasting away in my collection. Yes, that is definitely it. <laughs> For, and I'll get rid of this box because it's all like bent there and annoying. This box here, I also have to put all of this makeup in my <laughs> basket. This is the stuff from my advent calendar. I think this video is already like long enough so I won't go through all of this but I will like be using it in videos um, like in full face of nothing new and stuff like that. So you will see these products again. Last we have my new makeup drawer, which you will have seen me organize this in my last video. I really love this drawer. Sometimes I just open it to look at it. <laughs> but let's see what I can pull from here. I don't think I need any more lip products, I don't think. Let's try this, and by let's I mean I will try this, <laughs> and you will watch me maybe. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ladybird. I really want to use this. I've never used a ColourPop eyeshadow before, so that'll be exciting. I think that's good from here. 
and I still have even more new stuff. I have like some hauls to do and some boxy charm videos. So that stuff's like gonna be even extra things that won't be included um, in my basket. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to fit all that stuff back in this basket. We'll just like fast forward through that and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, um, I still have some extra things that I can't fit in <laughs> the basket. So, we'll see how things go. I might take out some of the things that I kept since the last round because it's just too much stuff. And yeah, I need to keep rotating my things. Um, and then I have these extra lip products that I need to put somewhere. So, yeah. It looks kind of okay. I mean, at least I can see everything, right? Like, that's what it looks like. So, yeah. Oh, plus I didn't even get into this bag here. Oh, <laughs> I might have uh, done a little too much this time, but we'll see how things go and I do think some things are going to be decluttered. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!